Most beautiful places to visit in Poland. Poland is an ancient country with a history that dates back to more than a thousand years. In recent history, Poland has been at the center of the conflict, but has now emerged as an independent modern country. With all that history, Poland also homes stunning architecture and scenic beauty, which has made it popular amongst tourists. Stick with us as we explore the most beautiful places to visit in Poland. Tetra Mountains Although Slovakia controls the majority of the mountain range, Poland and Slovakia are naturally divided by the Tetra Mountains and National Park, since there are no longer any borders separating the EU's member states. Hiking between them is now simple. There are more than 270 kilometers of hiking routes on the park's Polish side. The Polish Tetras contain Rysis, Poland's highest mountain. At 2,500 meters, it's the highest Tetra peak in either country. Additionally, the park is home to approximately 600 caverns. The longest and deepest of the which is limestone Vega Sniza cave system, which is 23 kilometers long and 824 meters deep. The Tetras contain waterfalls, streams, and alpine lakes. Morski Akko Lake is the largest lake in the park. It is located deep inside the park and is only accessible after a two-hour hike through hills and a dense with pine forest. Bazadi Mountains The Bazadi Mountains are a vast range that reaches as far as Slovakia and Ukraine. Their are Polonina, a type of mountain meadow that is only found in Carpathians, makes them special. The valleys and meadows are ideal for trekking, since they gently slope up and down rather of being very steep. One of the most well-known meadows routes, Polonia Rutlenska, has a summit elevation of 1,255 meters. It is a lovely, easy climb that shouldn't take more than two hours. If you wish to continue your journey, a modest guest house at the summit of the mountain range provides foods and drinks, in addition to a cozy bed. The East Carpathian Biosphere Reserves, which is home to brown bears, wolves, and bison and is primarily covered by beech forest, includes a sizable portion of the Bisadi Mountains. Warsaw After World War II, the capital of Poland was reduced to rubble. About 85% of its structures had been ruthlessly destroyed or reduced to ashes by Nazi forces. The city started a tremendous endeavor to rebuild its historic core utilizing the organ design as soon as the war was over. As a result, the merchant homes from the Barrio and Renaissance periods that you can see now are exact copies of the originals, despite the fact that over 60 institutions still call the city home. World War II unfortunately resulted in the loss of treasures housed in palaces and museums. The only poster museum in the world, a World War II Warsaw, a prizing museum, a neon museum, and a museum of caricature are among the odd options available in Warsaw. In addition to the art and history museums, the National Museum which documents the history of the city is also home to Poland's biggest collection of artworks, including some pieces that were once part of Adolf Hitler's personal collection. The formal gardens of Lezinki Palace more than make up for Warsaw's lack of parks, compared to Krakow's, the planetarium, an outdoor theater, pavilions, and other amenities can be found inside the 18th century palace, which is enriched by 76 hectares of the forest. Walk along Krakowski Przedmieście, Warsaw's greatest architectural street, for a radically distinct outdoor experience. The Presidential Palace, the Polish Academy of Sciences, historic residences, and momentums are all nearby. Oczkow the entrance to Ochko National Park lies in the little settlement of Ochko, which is located only 16 kilometers outside of Krakow. Ochko, the smallest national park in the Poland, is highly wooded, has more than 400 caverns, two river basins, and towering limestone cliffs. The park is home to more than 500 different kinds of butterflies, which in the spring and summer cover the pathways and flower-filled valleys and are a sight to behold. The Renaissance Castle of Piskova Scala and the remains of Gothic Castle, both of which are located inside the park's limits, are connected by Poland's most well-known tourism and hiking path, the Trial of the Eagle's Nests, which links 25 castles and watchtowers. 
two museums, including a branch of the National Art, are also located in the park. Rokla Rokla hasn't always been a Polish city. Over the years, it has belonged to the Kingdom of Bohemia, Prussia, and even Germany. Rokla has only been formally a part of Poland since 1945, when the end of the World War II altered several of the European continent's borderlines. A nice site to go to learn more about the city's history is the Lubomirski Museum, which covers a variety of WW2 events as well as the city's assault by Nazi and subsequently Soviet forces. With a chronology of world class spanning the last 1,000 years, the World Class City Museum completes that history. The main market square, where St. Elizabeth's Church and the Old Town Hall are located, was first settled in Rokla in the 13th century. The Pan Tedious Museum, with its multimedia polished customs exhibits, is just a short distance away. Visitors may ride open top vintage buses throughout the city during the summer. On foot, visitors may look for the roughly 350 miniature bronze statues of Alves that are hidden around corners, on sidewalks, and atop lampposts across Wokla. Gdansk Poland's principal seaport is located in the historic city of Gdansk, which is situated directly on the bay of the Baltic Sea, the majority of the city's historic district also known as the Royal Route dates to the 17th century and has been exquisitely conserved. The city gates, the prison tower, and the number of merchant homes are some of the prominent buildings in this area. St. Mary's the biggest brick church in the world, the star-shaped Wyslotsky Fortress, and the Gdansk Novi Port Lighthouse are all located in Gdansk. Despite not being directly impacted by the war, Gdansk is home to one of the top history museums in the nation. It includes a variety of vehicles, such as German DKW motorbike and a Polish Sherman tank, as well as relics, records, and images related to the conflict and the Holocaust. Torun The history of the Torun, one of Poland's oldest cities, dates back to the 8th century. The city's medieval central market, as well as its numerous Gothic homes and wood-beam 16th century structures, are still surviving since Torun wasn't bombed or destroyed during World War II. The astronomer Nicholas Copernicus was born in one of these homes, which has since been turned into a museum showcasing the scientist's life and contributions. The second must-see attraction in the area is Museum Perinica, which is devoted to a polish specially of ginger beard and offers hands-on baking opportunities for guests. It's a terrific location to explore on foot, getting lost in small lanes to discover the architecture and personality of the city. The entire old quarter area has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is the site of Torun's 13th century Teutonic Fortress, which is mostly in ruins save for the Savage Tower, and cellars and a neighboring water mill. Isle of Usedom this Baltic Sea island has been partitioned officially between Poland and Germany since 1945. Usedom known as the Sun Island due to the number of hours of sunshine it receives annually, is well-liked vacation spot for both nations. The island's main draws are its soft, white beaches, seaside resorts, and abundance of summertime sports and activities. But it also has a private botanical garden that is only open in the summer. The ruins of the Karin Lift Railway Bridge, which Germany now recognizes as a historic symbol of engineering, and the Danilfeld Mausoleum and Cemetery. Around the islands are lakes, natural areas, and well-kept gardens. Bialovisa Forest Reserve The Bialovisa Forest Reserve has unquestionably earned its classification as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is the greatest remaining portion of the ancient forest in Europe that originally covered most of the continent. The forest spans more than 1,400 square kilometers and is situated on the border between Poland and Belarus. Hikers can actually cross the border inside the forest. Bialovisa is a heaven for bird watchers, and enthusiasts may join excursions led by local ornithologists. But bison and other huge animals also call the forest home. The open air museum of wooden architecture, which has windmills, wooden homes, a modest wood church, a barn, 
and even a banya, is located inside the forest and is the small settlement of the Bielorizia. Give a like to this video and let us know which place you found the most interesting in the comments. If you're not subscribed, press the subscribing button and stay tuned for our next video.